One of Donald Trump's former aides, Peter Navarro, now in prison tonight, despite his appeal all the way to the Supreme Court. Here's Jonathan Carl. Tonight, former White House advisor Peter Navarro became the first senior Trump administration official to go to prison. You gotta stop meeting like this. Convicted of contempt of Congress for refusing to cooperate with the January 6th committee. This is the partisan weaponization of our judicial system. He'll be spending up to four months in a low security prison in Florida, where most of the inmates are elderly men convicted of white collar crimes. He'll be required to do a job of some sort, likely low level maintenance. I think it's a shame. I think it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to our nation what they did to him. This comes as Trump is calling for the prosecution of his political enemies, including former Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who led the January 6th committee. He says Cheney, quote, should go to jail. Please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. And at Trump rallies, he stands to salute the national anthem sung by inmates in prison for what they did on January 6th. Trump calls those people who attacked the Capitol patriots, suggesting he'll pardon them on his first day in office. Over the past couple of years, many Republican leaders have sought to minimize or even forget about what happened on January 6th, but not Donald Trump. As he embraces those who attacked the Capitol, he is increasingly putting January 6th at the center of his 2024 campaign. David. John Carl again tonight. Thank you, John. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.